you and I very much disagree on something. Sure. You know I'm a huge believer in Cleveland Cliffs. Okay. And we got an upgrade today. I, perhaps steel, there's a possibility that steel prices could be bottoming. Uh, I, I know that when I had Mr. Gonsalves on, he is absolutely convinced that steel prices are bottoming. If you believe that the cycle is real, the rate cut cycle, buy that. All right. I, I, mean, I, don't, I don't. By the way, I don't have that, an opinion on that. I, no, but I, Sam, regardless I, of whether they get yeah, the punch. I am uh, regardless. much more focused on the U.S. steel transaction, That's why I bring as it you up. know, and, and whether, in fact, Cleveland Cliffs can, if they are given the opportunity yet again, if the Nippon deal uh, for U.S. Steel falls apart, to purchase the company. Right. I think there are some... Uh, I'm with I had a large shareholder of U.S. Steel, Matt Haber, on from Pentwater a number of weeks ago. Now, what did you say was the final bid? To actually con- there were five bidders. Yeah, but the, uh, you, uh, the deal's done in the, in, at 50 Well, no, I'm saying that Nippon yeah. yeah. Steel, if you listen to either president... Well, no, no. There's only one president president at a time. Well, former President Trump or current President Biden. Uh, They are, without a doubt, so opposed to this. They they, they both believe, right, they both believe it uh, it potentially will result in jobs being lost. Right. That seems to be key to their focus. Pennsylvania, obviously, is a swing state. And so... That becomes important. That's that said, really important. Jim, there's a lot more to come here, including, as I said yesterday, and I don't think we need to spend that much time on it, you know, what Nippon will do to, to, to make clear its investment case um, for the Mon Valley plan in particular, built yes. in 1938 that needs significant updating. Uh, will they come in with the $1.4 billion in additional well, capital? I remember Or Bethlehem will it even Steel, be more than that? Yeah, well, you have to reline those plans. And when will that be awful. communicated? And will it be enough in some way to turn the union from its current partnership almost with Cleveland Cliffs? You can't Very turn much that. Unclear. That is a really rock-solid relationship. And that's why you've got a spread that is so significant to what uh, Nippon has agreed to And pay. the reason I bring it up is because there's very little that the two different camps believe it. It's true. The Republicans and the Democrats do agree that Nippon Steel should not get this. It's interesting when we have now this idea of national champions. You raise this, but you know, did you see what Japan and 7 Eleven? I mean, you've got Kustard. Uh, why are we not talking about Kustard? This is an amazing in it, important And yet, deal. Japan also seems to be embracing 7 Eleven as a national no. champion and perhaps uh, will not allow for a sale there. Uh, you, you do wonder if this is going to play as, as sort of economic nationalism continues to rise, I think whether we we're un- going to see fewer and fewer cross-border transactions. Yeah, well, we cannot underestimate the, the, the size and scale of 7-Eleven. No. Really, really big. By the way, uh, what do you know, what do you think is the number one performing uh, 7-Eleven?